Hi, how's it going? Hello everyone. So you've got a stick welder like this Hone 185D that can do lift start TIG and you want a TIG welding setup for it. In this video, I'm going to go over one possible setup to give you an idea of what it'll take to get started. For TIG welding, you will need a tank of 100% argon shielding gas. They can be ordered online, but if you order one online, you'll still need a local place to get it refilled or swapped out when you need more. So I recommend you find a local supplier, pick out a size that works for you, and get the tank there. On the bench, I have a set of components to get TIG welding with a machine like the Hone 185D. These aren't the most expensive options, and they certainly aren't the cheapest options, but they are just one possible setup to give you an idea of what you'll need. First, you will need a regulator flow meter for your argon. This is a simple flow meter that I've used for many years, and another common style is one that has two dial gauges instead of this tower flow gauge. Both styles work fine, I've used both, but I do kind of prefer this style. Argon tanks should all have the same fitting, and any argon flow meter regulator you get should have the proper fitting for the tank. The output fitting, on the other hand, may vary. This one has a tapered seat fitting with 5 8 inch threads. It's a pretty common fitting, but some have an externally threaded fitting or even just a standard hose barb. Obviously, you'll need a TIG torch, and you'll want to get one with an integrated valve for the gas. You're most likely going to want to start with an air-cooled torch, and I prefer a single-piece torch cable. Basically, the power cable and gas hose are integrated into one rather than having a separate cable and gas hose. This is a 9-style flex-head torch from WeldTech, and it has a rubber cable. Since it is a single-piece torch cable, it ends in a single fitting that passes the argon and conducts the welding current. This is a standard fitting for a 9 or 17 style air-cooled torch. A 26 style torch will have a larger fitting. There are a ton of torch options out there. For instance, here is a CK9 flex head torch with a super flex cable instead of rubber. I really like the super flex cables because they are a lot lighter and they are far more flexible than rubber, making them much easier to work with. However, they aren't as durable as rubber cables. You can see the braiding on this one is slightly melted in one spot, and the braiding is also a tiny bit frayed in a couple of spots. It still works fine, and I still love a Superflex cable, but be aware that a rubber cable may hold up better under hard use. In addition to the torch itself, you're going to need torch parts and consumables like cups, collets, collet bodies, and obviously tungsten electrodes. If you want me to talk your ear off about TIG torch consumables, let me know, but I'm not going to get into the details in this video. Just be aware that many torches, such as this one and the CK, they don't come with them. So you've got your welder, an argon tank, a regulator, and a torch. The final piece is an adapter that connects everything together. This is a CK brand adapter, part number SL2-35. It has the fitting for an air-cooled 17 or 9 style torch. It has a DINs 35 connector for the welder and it has a gas hose with the 5 8 inch threaded fitting with tapered seat for the regulator. The torch adapter brings the whole setup together. The torch will connect to the adapter, the adapter will connect to the welder, and the gas hose on the adapter will connect to the argon regulator on your argon tank. And there you go, you're ready to TIG weld. If your welder, your torch, or your regulator have different connectors, you will just need to get a different torch adapter with the right fittings. CK makes all different configurations of adapters, and I imagine other brands do as well. You can also get torches that include adapters, and companies sell TIG packages that come with all of this stuff, and even in some cases, uh, torch consumables. In fact, you may even notice that the Hone PowerStick 185D has the smaller DINs connectors, whereas this is the larger DINs connector. And I did that because I have multiple different welders that I want to use this setup with, and some of them have the larger connector, and some of them have the smaller connector. Now, they, CK does make an adapter like this with the DINs 25 connector instead of the DINs 35 connector. However, I found it simpler just to get an adapter like this. This is an adapter that goes from a DINs 35 to a DINs 25, that way I can use this torch adapter on any welder with a DINs 35 connector, and on any welder that has the DINs 25, I can just use this adapter. 
And again, this is just one possible setup, but I just wanted to give you some idea of what you need to get started. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, post a comment and I'll answer if I can. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.